Good morning all. Um, so I've started working on the full size BB-8 and first I'm concentrating on how I'm going to go about moving the head. There's lots of different designs uh, that people are trying. Most of them have a sort of universal joint in the middle and then tilt the head left and right uh, and forwards and backwards and then also have another motor that turns the head on the spot. I'm trying something a little different um, that will actually only use two uh, motors, but we'll, we'll get most of the way there. I don't think this is the way that it's done in the full size one. Um, but it's definitely gonna, it's an interesting way of doing it and it's going to have smoother motion in, in some scenarios than, than others. Uh, so basically how it works is we have a, a motor that drives a bevel gear. And then on the opposite side, I have a 10 turn potentiometer that allows me to monitor um, which angle it's been rotated to. And then in the center, I have an arm that can tilt backwards and forwards. And that arm has a counterweight at the bottom uh, that should offset the weight of the head as it leans so the body doesn't, doesn't swing around too much. And then as you can see from the front, this sits directly in the center of mass of uh, BB-8's body. Now, if you go to the forum uh, on my first post, you'll see there's a link to a, a little demo I set up of this that you can actually control with your keyboard. So with the A and D keys, you can rotate the head. And with the W and S keys, you can lean the head forwards and backwards. As you can see, um, if I lean the head forwards, I can have a nice sweeping motion around the body and I can still look around. So here I have that set up, um, everything's labeled. I've put a bit of uh, green tape in the middle of the hub, just so you can see um, that every time uh, the code runs, it uh, does a complete 180. I have the code just set up to oscillate between two different angles. Uh, if I try and grab and turn the center, the code tells the motor to drive in the opposite direction and it's actually very hard to turn, I can, I can barely turn it. If I unplug the motor, you can see that I can turn it fairly freely by hand. And if I turn it around uh, clockwise um, a little bit and then plug it back in, it'll see that it's now not at the correct angle, so it, it'll home back to the correct angle. There we go. And then it'll continue the oscillation. It's very smooth. As it's not using servos, it's very quiet. Because of the three to one gear reduction, I have uh, a lot of resolution. Right, so up next will be the part that's responsible for the turning, oh, sorry, the leaning. Uh, down here I have a uh, servo that has a, another, that has a gear reduction of two to one um, through this part here that just dovetails into the hub. And that will allow me to lean the head 45 degrees in, uh, in both directions. The two to one gear reduction will also um, improve the resolution of the servo. So here, here I have those parts uh, printed out in, uh, in uh, PLA. You can see I have the bearings inserted into the, the top of the hub, a little hole that the rod will go through. And then as this rocks backwards and forwards, you can see that it, it turns the servo. I think I'm going to redesign these gears. They're not, they're not meshing particularly well. But there we go. Uh, that'll be in the next video. I'll have it all assembled and uh, have a play with it. Thanks for watching.